for a deep pass. Never turning around was Wallace, and they flag him for it. Eight seconds left into the game. Buffalo is trying to go ahead with a game-winning touchdown, and Steph clearly see the defender pulling the jersey of Stefan Diggs. It was right in McDermott's face. McDermott... And he's bumped up by Wilson. Seeing that shot of Peyton Manning makes you realize we got all-time three quarterbacks who threw for 50 touchdowns in a season. Two of them are playing in this game in Tom and Patrick. And, of course, the other was Peyton Manning. They're all here. Yeah. I mean, that's why this game is being built up so much because you've got rare ability at that quarterback position. And After the play was over, Unnecessary roughness, number 95, defense, 15 yards will be added to the end of the play. Automatic first down. And that's called on Chris Jones. That's a big one. Carl Chepper's announcing it. Yeah, you see right there, Jones retaliated a little bit. Jensen, who's gotten a few people to do that. They do best. Third and four. Ball deflected, tipped, and who else but Tyron Matthew has another interception. There is a marker down in the secondary. Well, and this is what we talk about. Matthew's six interceptions, should have had a seven, but this is coming back. This is going to be a hold on the defense of Kansas City outside. And it's going to be on 35, Ward. He's covering Evans. Pass, holding, number 35. Defense, mm. five-yard penalty. Matthew had six picks in the regular season already with one in the postseason thought he had another one Well watch the bottom of your screen right there. He's coming out of it, and he just holds him right there And that's gonna get called because there's a line judge right there watching look at the hands It's just too aggressive And this is where Matthew's instincts come in he has such yeah, me speaking about this really goes against me like my my annuities and my portfolio is in the nfl it's under nfl so if they go down my stuff goes down but i feel like you guys' souls mean more much to, i mean mean much to me so you can see the bigger picture so you don't have to argue with wednesday at 3 p.m with a fan that's a patriots fan and y'all guys cussing each other out and it's not even it, it's it's all it's, it's just all scripted like you want me to say it's like After it all happened, if balls were deflated, I will go to my grave saying that Tom Brady knew that the balls were then being deflated. It's the controversy involving Super Bowl 36 between the New England Patriots and the St. Louis Rams did not actually occur during the game. It happened leading up to it, as the Patriots allegedly taped a walkthrough practice conducted by the Rams. The Rams' offense, which was one of the greatest in NFL history, was held to just 17 points in the game giving people even more reason to believe the Patriots knew a bit extra about the St. Louis playbook. 
When it looked like the Rams and Patriots were going to meet in another Super Bowl in Super Bowl 53, former Rams Hall of Fame running back Eric Dickerson said, We want a rematch against the Patriots. We want them back again because they cheated us. They cheated us. They cheated us. They know they cheated us back in New Orleans. They watched our film, so we want some more of them. Another Hall of Fame running back for the Rams is just as salty about the incident. In 2013, 11 years after the game, Marshall Falk said, Am I over the loss? Yeah, I'm over the loss. But I'll never be over being cheated out of the Super Bowl. That's a different story. The Tuck Rule Game As much as Patriots fans love the narrative that Roger Goodell and the NFL are out to get them, here they are again on this list benefiting from additional aid. In a 2002 AFC Divisional Round matchup, the Oakland Raiders led the Pats 13-10 late in the fourth quarter. New England was driving when Oakland defensive back Charles Woodson hit Tom Brady, forcing him to drop the ball. The Raiders fell on the ball, and the play was initially ruled a fumble on the field, likely ending the game. The play was reviewed and overturned, as the officials cited a rule that nobody had ever heard of until that play, called the tuck rule. They determined that because Brady had been bringing the ball forward before attempting to bring it back down into his body, the play should be ruled as an incomplete pass. The Pats ended up winning the game and going on to win the Super Bowl, but people still wonder whether or not that call would have been made for any other quarterback. He cut it off at the last moment. Flag, flag down on this play. We also got a funding on 66. It was, well, let's just say it was a... Uh-oh. Yeah, well, got that mic. He cut it off at the last moment. Flag is... Y'all heard that loud hemorrhage from their brains. It also caused uproar with the players. Denver Broncos star TJ Ward simply tweeted, rigged, shaking my head. The next morning, Jaguars cornerback Jalen...